Polite requests and commands, mastering intonation patterns. Welcome to our English language learning video series. In this video, we will focus on an essential aspect of English communication, intonation patterns for polite requests and commands. Understanding and using the correct intonation can greatly enhance your spoken English skills. So, let's dive right in. Polite requests are an important part of everyday conversations. By using the appropriate intonation, you can convey your request in a courteous and respectful manner. Here are some key points to keep in mind. 1. Rising intonation. When making a polite request, it's common to use a rising intonation pattern. This means that your voice goes up in pitch towards the end of the sentence. For example, could you pass me the salt? 2. Tag questions. Another way to form a polite request is by using a tag question at the end of the sentence. For instance, you will help me, won't you? In this case, the rising intonation is used in the tag question to indicate the request. 3. Softening language. Adding softening words or phrases can make your request even more polite. Examples include, please, if you don't mind, or, I would appreciate it if. For example, could you please close the door? Remember, the key to polite requests lies in using a rising intonation, tag questions, and appropriate softening language. Polite commands allow you to give instructions or make requests in a respectful and considerate way. Let's explore the intonation patterns for polite commands. 1. Falling rising intonation. Polite commands often use a falling rising intonation pattern. This means that your voice starts with a higher pitch, then falls slightly, and rises again towards the end of the sentence. For example, please speak a bit louder. 2. Modal verbs. Modal verbs such as could, would, or might can be used to express politeness when giving a command. For instance, could you please turn off the lights? 3. Negative questions. Another way to form a polite command is by using negative questions. By using a rising intonation in a negative question, you can make your command more polite. For example, wouldn't you mind closing the window, please? Polite commands can be conveyed through falling rising intonation, the use of modal verbs, and negative questions. Now that we've covered the intonation patterns for polite requests and commands, it's time for some practice. Listen to the following sentences and identify whether they are polite requests or commands. Pay attention to the intonation patterns used. 1. Could you pass me the book, please? 2. Would you mind turning down the volume? 3. Please close the door behind you. Pause the video after each sentence to give yourself time to analyze and make your selection. Congratulations! You've learned about the intonation patterns for polite requests and commands in English. By using rising intonation, tag questions, and softening language, you can make your requests sound polite and respectful. Similarly, falling rising intonation, modal verbs, and negative questions help you convey polite commands. Practice these patterns to improve your spoken English skills and become a confident communicator. Thank you for watching this video, and we hope it has been helpful. Stay tuned for more exciting lessons on English language learning. Happy learning!